on video should be on Wireside chat, exploring the future of aerospace engineering. Hello, wonderful attendees. I'm your host, Dalvinder Kaur, from lovely professional university. Get ready to dive into today's topic, that is Fireside chat, aerospace engineering. Before we proceed further, allow me to introduce the experts of the day, Mr. Amit Kumar Thakur, HOD, Aerospace Engineering, School of Mechanical Engineering, lovely professional university. With over 20 years of experience in academics and research, Dr. Thakur specializes in renewable energy technologies, thermal engineering, and more. He has published 84 journal papers and guided numerous theses. And now I would uh, like to introduce the alumni also in this webinar, Mr. M.S. Ragul, founder and CEO, Aeroin Space Tech Private Limited, a young scientist awardee. He envisions uh, connecting the world through space scientists from India's small villages. Mr. Ragul has received four international and national awards, compelled over 10 projects, published four research papers, and delivered to more than 14 space talks. So now, uh, so now I would uh, like to introduce uh, Ms. Rishika Avasti, Achiever 2024, Internship Collins Aerospace, a dynamic fourth year BTEC student from lovely professional university. She has undertaken numerous projects and internships with prestigious organizations and earning multiple national and international awards. She is a national level chess player state level skater and many more. So I would like to introduce uh, Mr. V. Varendra Kumar, first year student of BTEC Aerospace Engineering, lovely professional university. Mr. Varendra enthusiasm for space exploration and dedication to advancing human achievement embody the spirit of innovation. So I would like to introduce uh, the admission nominee also in this webinar, Dr. Mahindra Singh Kaswan, Associate Professor in Mechanical Engineering at lovely professional university. Dr. Kaswan holds a PhD from the same university and MTech from Kurukshetra. He is an expert in, the, in industry circular economy, Lean Six Sigma and more. He is also a member of the Indian Science Congress with 50 published articles and five patents. So now I would uh, hand over this, uh, the thanks to uh, Mr. Amit Kumar and it would be an absolute delight to listen from him. Over to you, Dr. Amit. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dalvanam. And uh, it's really a pleasure that uh, we are having with us our alumni, our achiever, and the master of more, Virendra Ragul, as well as Vishika. It's really a pleasure to have you all guys. And, uh, after a long time, I'm seeing you all. So uh, let's let's come up and uh, do certain things which is fruitful to the entire aerospace department and the, as well as the School of Mechanical Engineering. I'll uh, not go down and ask you about what exactly the questions would be or rather what exactly. So let's come to an open uh, forum and we could share our views on exactly what is the LPU and how exactly the aerospace department is how the School of Mechanical Engineering is, and what all things you feel like, which gave you an impetus, like like Ragul is the successful CEO, right? And Rishika has achieved a lot in during her career, and Virendra is yet to achieve that up. So coming up with all the experience, the blend of experience will really enhance your junior mates, all right, as well as uh, the coming upcoming future mates. So to starting quickly with Ragul, uh, Okay, Raghul, so how, how's, how are you and how's life going on? Hi, sir. Uh, very good evening. I'm doing great, sir. How about you? Great, 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 great. Thank you, Raghul. So it's a pleasure to have you over here on this particular forum, right? So uh, how do you, how basically, Raghul, your experience uh, in aerospace department has equipped you to navigate the complexities of the aerospace industry? Um, how exactly? Sir, but... Uh, first, thanks for this how much opportunity because uh, this is a wonderful question, moreover, and uh, we don't have much time to interact with LPU with you. And so, mm -hmm. meeting after a couple of years in virtual mode, so that's a wonderful thing, and thanks for that. And moreover, coming to the point, like so since my childhood, I had a passion to become a rocket scientist, like um, everyone does have it and want to become a scientist in ISR, the same method and same ideology that you have. 
and then i wanted to by seeing dr apj birkal i could see back of his also so by seeing him i thought okay i want to become a scientist and started my journey and my career and when i coming to after my 12th grade so i started my journey and i wanted to do aerospace so where i can able to put my contributions towards the space industry as well as i could able to work on the domain so i thought to do my degree and i'll choose the best option i got it and where i started and just starting as aerospace engineer since from the uh, like uh, around the, the, from the first year i don't know what is aerospace ex- exactly how it works so i'm just enjoying my engineering works and everything then when i get to know about the series of the life how aerospace business is tough in all the comparatively of all the engineering background and apart from that how aerospace industry is tough to work in the domain also so when i come to know about this things i felt very bad about me is i do a lot of things into the field as well as into the domain so i just under your guidance as you know very well and i mentioned everywhere that you are the first mentor in lp for me and still now you are supporting a lot to me and this is how i started and now that I is what i am that is what i am rebel all right and that has, that is how i have i have to be right for okay. all everyone it goes along right okay. you don't right. get credit from the students you always share the credit to those people also that's very happy for you that's uh, that's you are the real mentor for us and uh, so back to the yeah, back to the point uh, like when i was into this field and building a startup called aero in space tech so basically everyone knows what we are working on and we are in the deep tech uh, in space tech working on building up to launch vehicle so into this domain the like lpu as well as engineering aerospace engineering was the part so i was about to uh, go for is one clearing the gates and do masters in was the domain but until when i was an lpu i don't know what is even startup and how basically startup works at all so after graduating it so working in some of the companies and getting some of the experiences on that then i found okay that's a some problem is going on so we'll try to sort out as being an aerospace engineer i just want to do, do something so only one thing which helps me as well as which had a strong determination is i wanted to do something for the society as well as for the country in the field of aerospace domain so as being an aerospace engineer i think this is the contributions that i could go do for it so this is how i've been started my journey from lpu and into the aerospace industry professional so it's a great excellent, opportunity excellent, yeah. excellent. that's what see we, we see we see you as see your your junior mates your basically your juniors they see you as an inspiration bakul right so right now the position where you are in it's all that uh, knowledge that you have gained over here over years in lpu as well as with the faculty members that is what is paying you off right so rather than uh, and and we, we are we are really, really proud of you when we see all these alumni coming up and doing this some sort of somebody is the ceo somebody is now open up some startup they are recruiting you are recruiting your own juniors that is a pleasure moment and exactly. i'm really thankful for that i'm really thankful yeah. right. and i just want to add some more points like recently we hired some of the people even from our college it's like a pride moment for us even because a few years back i was the one of the student in this campus and now we are just hiring the students from the same campus is something a different feel which we got it and that was the biggest i think that i have done i guess in my life god bless you sir god bless you and uh, you keep on rising and signing like that this right and uh, so things will come up so uh, coming to rishika welcome rishika and uh, Hello, it's pleasure like it's pleasure like seeing you over here right uh, after like such a long time like uh, us so uh, great great and so uh, basically you you were the basic arm said the pillar of the space department right and I'll, i'll call upon that right uh, and what exactly according to you as a current student uh, within the aerospace department uh, what aspects of the program has uh, most ignited your passion for aerospace engineering and uh, how do you envision uh, leveraging this enthusiasm in your future career basically how do you think it okay so i would like to answer that by sharing something with you so yeah. when i embarked on my btech journey in aerospace engineering it was primarily driven by driven by a general interest in the field it was uh, at that time i was not really that passionate about it and i was the covid batch but i'll tell you what ignited my passion for aerospace yeah. so despite the constraints which were posed by a pandemic our um, department did not take a back seat our professors they assigned us with uh, practical projects like building gliders and aerial lanterns uh, instead of doing all the theoretical coursework 
while uh, most institutions they suspended the lab classes our department innovatively showed us the video and took us around the labs virtually and we utilized various softwares to help realize those experiments and understand those experiments and then uh, when we finally resumed our offline classes we were brimming with the energy and uh, the kind of enthusiasm to apply whatever we had learned right and a pivotal moment for me was um I think I can count on so many. Uh, one of them is in helicopter theory and aerodynamics class. For one of our projects, we were tasked with um, creating a UAV. Instead of CAs, which are usually theoretical in all other institutions, we had to actually make it in a team. So my team, initially, it uh, failed to make the drone airborne. We were not able to fly it. But through learning from our mistakes, later we applied that knowledge. And we learned from those mistakes. And later, we applied that knowledge in uh, IIT, Campus, Tech Fest, Tech Riti, and we won third prize. Similarly, even uh, in our satellite technology class, we were required to develop a small satellite. It could have been a CubeSat, CanSat, whatever. I personally dwelled into creating a CanSat. And at that time, it was just a project for us. It got over. But later, uh, we applied whatever theoretical knowledge we gained, and we created a CanSat. And just very recently, my team and I secured first prize in India's first ever CanSat competition. And it was covered by all the newspapers and um, all the, uh, and it was streaming all over the news. So that was a pretty proud moment. So uh, I think to sum it up, I would say that all the theoretical knowledge that we acquired was um, very meticulously verified in the labs, and the insights we gain, uh, we were able to apply in our, uh, we were able to apply those in our projects. And this rigorous approach, it not only honed our technical skills, but it also infused us with an unparalleled enthusiasm for aerospace engineering because we were always thinking of something new. And the um, curriculum, I would say, is exceptionally well designed with uh, the CAs, which are not just theoretical; they are uh, they give us hands-on experience as well. And Obviously, the labs and everything, they, they just provide the incredible knowledge which we all need and the hands of on experience which we all need. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Vishita. And uh, I really well believe that uh, you have miles to go right now. It's not yet over. So, okay. So, you are an intern at Collins Aerospace and you're doing well. I have uh, known enough and I'm knowing it still, right? Uh, so, that will shape up your career ahead further. Nothing to worry about. And... Uh, Surely you'll be emerging as a winner. Nothing to it, right? All right. Uh, so now let us let us have quick words from uh, Virendra. Uh, hi, Virendra. How are you? How are you doing today? Thanks, All fine. Oh, good. Thanks, great. Uh, oh, great. Uh, so Virendra. So you see, right now you are currently in lovely professional university, right? And that too, you are. Of uh, studying aerospace engineering. So my question to you would be somewhere like, uh, what basically motivated you to pursue your studies in aerospace engineering? And uh, till now, how has your experience with aerospace engineering department aligned with your expectations? So you had some expectations, right, when you joined LP. So how exactly we have aligned ourselves uh, with your expectation, and why? What motivated you to pursue? Aerospace First of all, I will thank you for giving this opportunity. Awesome. So, uh, I am more fascinated about uh, what is beyond the earth, about space, what will be beyond our nation. To, I am more excited about to learn about space and comets, what is the beyond earth. In When I joined in the LPU, if they are giving good experience, I am just a first year students. I am learning the how recently we done the UAV. We are learning how to apply theoretical to practically and how aerodynamics will work and how right. aerodynamic structures will work. And they are teaching for us there will be a program orientation to give get clarity about the, what will be future in aerospace engineering and what will be and what we should do after aerospace engineering. I think it will be a good experience for me to join in aerospace. Engineering and future. And have, have we met your expectation? Are you satisfied with uh, till now what uh, what you're expecting about? Yes, sir. I am satisfied with my experience, sir. But I need to travel more. Yeah, obviously. That uh, right now, this is what is the career that has just begun. Right. So we have a long way to go. 
and during this journey ups and downs are always there so you have to struggle a bit and then you have to come up emerge as a winner so slowly slowly that will come up slowly right so nothing yes. to worry about it so overall overall it seems to be fine for you right yes sir overall it seems to be fine so oh, I'll, I'll come back to to ragul once again okay so ragul uh, it's to say really i'm 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 really taking today i may god give me more time to speak to you all guys but i don't know because we have a limited time with us but still i have to wind it up but i i'm not i'm not finished up with yet i keep on asking i need to keep on asking you a lot of questions on to it so uh, coming down this yeah. let let's go back to our past and see that reflecting on your time when you were a student over here um uh, just share me some uh, pivotal moment or a project uh, that provided some kind of invaluable insight in the world of aerospace engineering to you which regularly which i think so which prompted you to be to set up this aero in right somewhere somewhere it came onto your mind right somewhere somewhere you thought about yes. right so what exactly sir i believe that god uh, it's all god's plan even as being a, a cosmologist like writing a books on cosmology with under the guidance yeah. of science mm-hmm. like even i believe the god says like that is a god's plan for everything whatever it will happen it will happen for a reason so mm-hmm. being in this position as well as running the team uh, leading the team working with the mm-hmm. team is a very difficult job it's a very difficult and just facing a lot but this all happen without without the experience or without the team management that which worked as the past we should not never forget and as was the case actually i never forget yeah. the things which had happened in my past life and the projects as well as continued with the lp so now we building mm-hmm. this air and space tech so everyone will ask the same questions you are just very less and how you could able to compete with the global competitors as well as this was the <laughs> most uh, recently you know yeah um, to speak back i have been connected with the investor for our project and then the same question i got from the silver sir and i the same answer i used to reply for everything so i don't believe in the years of experiences i believe in the here how many experiences we are earning it that's what the things i always believe in so i don't matter yeah. that the year of experiences it might the 5 10 15 20 so this is in a single year how many types of experiences in the different domain that whatever we are learning it that's what i believe so apart yeah. from that the secondary things is in lpu like as you know uh, 10 plus projects have successfully did it and uh, out of the project most of the projects i was a leader and headed the teams as well as we been part of the two projects around event for nasa scanning and as nasa rover and under your guidance also we did a tour rover and recently the patent also got published and yeah. that, that two projects was one of the most things to start the career as well as a domain also the reason because mm. is we understand how the team works Um, as well as um, the project yeah. how we want to do the project and how we want to work into the projects from the beginning so for yeah. example the rover that which we have designed so it's all about the futuristic project and the future Obviously. mission yeah on the basis of the future mission we have completely designed and planned it and uh, completely committed the project and then we mm. filed the patent and we got the grant also once we are applying this projects with the ca the confederation of indian industry so we were talking with them during covid time that uh, we been made this project and why can't we isro can be done this in the future and they said the answer was like uh, we are suffering with the covid 19 so financially it's unstable to make this mission maybe mm-hmm. hopefully in the future we should try it out so this is like something hitting me always so when isro will take our project when isro will take this project then what i did okay rather than the some other companies or the government organizations taking our projects and working on it why can't we do it by ourselves this is how we have thought and then we understand the startup market and how a research market works on and then we focus on the research gap what we can able to contribute for the nation as well as in the project that we are working on so then we have started so this is one of the project that we did and if you talk about the another project that nasa's project so still like could talk with my team it's recently today there was a new intern came into our office and morning session i was discussing with them and i was explaining about my experiences so when i'm interacting with them i don't go with the presentations or anything just by my experiences i talk with the people so because more than the presentation or the books if you talk about the experience that would be far enough for them to understand the things also so on the basis of nasa's project we were working on and because that 10 people of in a team there are 10 people and 10 people are also in the different domain so every one is from mechanical one is from uh, cs ec and mechatronics and robotics i am from aerospace engineer so just managing this team is a very difficult task but which i learned in working with lpu stack project for the nasa is helping here because in this company there will be operational manager there will be ceo there will be ceo 
and business development yeah. graphic design every team will be there so it's very easy to manage here once whatever the things have been learned and taught in lp and i still and i still remember like we we used to work in groups like you had a group of students with you right everybody was there like everybody was really pumped up when i talked to you about those patents and all those stuff when we started working on those patents i um, do remember my remembrance is there like uh, if you everybody checked in like really good we had a uh, we had a uh, what's up uh, i think so group also where we kept on sending and you kept on sending me those pdfs and all the stuff i do exactly. remember that so yeah. that was some way that the kick started you the rovers part of it when we did, when we decided to do a patent on rovers and all the stuff when exactly. you guys participated into it and the failures are the ones from where we learn which we already have taken that up right and so once we didn't qualify also but we are happy about that those same patent those home same designs were patented okay. and currently we are running on to the process to get it uh, basically granted from the government of india also so once it gets yeah. along let's see we'll find up some other maybe you can go down and fund it up okay so we'll do a technology transfer to you only similar so that's that's we very well process and moreover we are near to win that competition that you do if you remember that but unfortunately yeah, really true. but more than really you you do still i remember that you told that winning the secondary but we participated and learned a lot yes that is, yes so, so, that is very much that is very much required that the exposure that what we got it and the exposure that what everybody got that is what where we are standing very yeah. much and we just uh, stop with the project also sir again we were continuing for the next couple of years and yeah, we were doing the different obviously, things obviously. and we just did with the pattern works that was amazing and yeah, so thanks for that sir most welcome rahul and it's it's all my pleasure like uh, see i have been a basically like a what do you call it just a fellow traveler and just keep on showing the way that you need to move along in this particular way right so the rest all your hard work your dedication that all has showed up right and uh, i'm happy about that where exactly you are right now all right so okay on the same line uh, uh, rishika i'll uh, just uh, pen this question to you like uh, see we have this mentorship uh, uh, part over here in lpu right and uh, uh, we have the entire network basically for the support network that what i call upon right so how do you see this how do you perceive uh, the support network and the mentorship opportunities which are available within the aerospace department and the school of mechanical engineering the entire school of mechanical entire lpu like let us talk about entire lpu and how exactly they have influenced uh, your journey as a student okay so the support network and the mentorship opportunities here are incredible so um, okay i'll start start by taking a smaller group like our department if you uh, just delve into background of our professor i'll take you for instance right so uh, <laughs> for those side by side only right and there's somebody yeah. who's going to ask yeah <laughs> so for yeah. those of you who don't know so like you have worked in drdo right or uh, you have worked as a research sub coordinator for yes. adrd yes. drdo and there you have contributed to the design and development of the de acceleration system for yeah uh, space capsule recovery experiment right so personally i have always been more inclined towards space science than aeronautics so having access to guidance from someone who is that experienced from such a reputable organization and not just you all our professors they are incredibly deep Everybody. in yeah knowledge and uh, our professors uh, and all our faculty members they just constantly push us and pursue us to um uh, to take up courses like nptel or write research papers file for patents no matter how small the idea may seem you have always pushed us to further develop our concepts and uh, provide invaluable guidance and personally i've sought assistance from many professors depending on the subject i needed help with and nobody has ever said no or have even slowed is short slight disinterest so that is one of the things which is truly commendable and uh, even to enhance our learning experience our faculty members they arranged numerous guest lectures for example we had a guest lecture by sundara murthy sir he he is a scientist from mm. isro and yeah. uh, he shared uh, the real life examples and what all he actually does in isro and it truly gave us more insights into uh, learning what space science is all about and what astronautics is all about right and mm. uh similar is the commitment for all the faculty to uh 
to just push students and they extend above and beyond the classroom and they are always available for one on one consultation this is in the entire lpu everybody is always available to just help students they offer personalized advice and support and uh, uh, there's there's uh, what i would like to say there's an open door policy which has mm. fostered uh, a nurturing and collab uh, collaborative learning environment where uh, students feel comfortable seeking help and discussing ideas and mm -hmm. uh, like everybody knows we all have our own assigned mentors to whom mm. we can address uh, our doubts to and seek help whenever we need and there are there's an online portal as well there's your those also where if even if you're not feeling mentally fit you can just talk up and it's all con uh, confidential and it's not uh, really showcased to everyone so the whole personality of a student is taken care of not just the academic part of it and the encouragement and support from our mentors have always um, motivated me to push my boundaries and uh, participate in competitions present my work at national and international forums and all of that has brought me a lot of success and they've not just uh, give me a clear vision of what my goals are but they have also uh, sort of honed my interpersonal skills and technical knowledge which now i have added to my cv and i'm able to secure internships at such prestigious institutions to name a few isro hl autodesk collins aerospace and etc so all of that has really helped me a lot and that that is how exactly you have shaped up your career like coming yeah, to that exactly. and that yeah. And that is the confidence that is losing. Uh, what uh, Raghul is speaking about, what the confidence you have in, the same confidence has to be passed on. So what I believe over here is that the legacy has to continue, right? Uh, what exactly. you have done, you have to keep on passing it through your juniors also, keep on motivating them, bringing to that particular level. Because this is the mentoring part, what we are doing in LCU or rather the network, which is how exactly this is coming along. If that has benefited you, um, undoubtedly i just believe that everybody would have benefited from yeah. anyone yeah. yeah and uh, to add on just um, one point more uh, not just faculty all the seniors are also always mm. encouraging That's us true. i remember you were talking about groups of uh, yeah. uh, you know rover uh, we were a part of aero uh, and like yeah. a small community and we always used to work together have meetings till late night and discuss I everything i remember that yeah. And you guys will keep on troubling me, sir. Join at nine o'clock in the evening. So uh, I, I had I had that small moments in my life where I could have come down at nine o'clock in the night and join with you with some that project and see how exactly. I remember Raghul pushing up all those PDFs and all those are kindly cross check it up once again, once again, once again. So that 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 was an exciting way that uh, what had brought uh, and shaped uh, exactly the career in you and all. So that's what that confidence that is what is being seen on your face, right? So yeah. hats off to you, yes, hats off to you. It's really a pleasure, really pleasure. Right. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, Virendra, you have been uh, quite come so long. So let's come down and tell me and tell yourself into this. Like, uh, how exactly uh, do you see, Virendra, uh, your involvement uh, in research or some practical projects uh, within this aerospace department? Yeah, basically that has prepared you for future opportunities in aerospace industries. I know it's it's very early question which I'm putting you off, but still, till the time what you have, you have seen your practical projects, whatever you have done, and whatever the involvement of yourself in the research part of it. So how exactly that is that has prepared you for that future opportunities? How exactly are you prepared? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As a first year student, I have to wait and only UAV project, which we yeah. which was in the first semester, it was very good experience for us to done the UAV because we applied the all what we studied in first semester to apply in the practical day and we learned the how to fabricate the and manual and we are going to research we are learned the how to make a research article on something some research article like how to publish the research articles and how mm -hmm. it works and how to research. Up to now, we only done the only practical theoretical parts. Sir. We are going to learn from second year or third year. We are going to learn practical. And, uh, to, to very, very honest, uh, Raghul and uh, Rishika, I'd like to tell you that uh, we had implemented this uh, research all apart, which Virendra is saying. He is like, uh, we have taken up we have not even spared first year students also, you know. 
we had pushed them like through that they should keep on searching for papers if at all they have some ideas in their mind if you are thinking about one particular research they should do go down and do that googling part of it yeah. uh, uh, take out all those papers uh, and just start doing that work so i think so by the end of uh, completion virendra you must be able to mark up a paper and come down with a good research paper published in some journal right so that is what uh, we are trying to make it up and hopefully virendra has acquired that uh, skill into it right virendra yeah. oh, sir Yeah. literature review is the stepping stone so yeah definitely yes, yes. so that, that that i think so see half of that has been done if they have worked on that particular part somewhere yeah. other because we as an aerospace engineers we are more inclined towards the research part because yeah. more the research definitely. we do the more the ability that what uh, grows in it that's what a company demands right uh so uh, i'll just put up uh, ragul hopefully i think so i have not bored you much right so i'll, I'll pick up and pick up few more few more. i did because see, i have multiple multiple questions with me right so my questions will never end up okay so i have to keep on asking you i just want to know exactly how this uh era has gone along and how exactly are you right now uh could you just express your uh, views on uh, because see, you were a part of this uh, WF Professional University right from the beginning on this right and we have seen the campus infrastructure growing yes. and uh, overall what exactly it is so i need your uh, views uh, basically on the overall campus infrastructure and uh, what aspect of the campus infrastructure do you consider the most important I said I wanted to take this answer in the two way. First is you were talking with the Ritika about this late night meetings. I remember the infrastructure will connect the late night meetings as well, because uh-huh. the late night meeting which we had in Aero in as Aero dot in when we are at uh, campus and as being a student startup earlier. Still the mm-hmm. following ethics are going on. So still we should have a meeting at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, even at eleven. I used to leave at office at eleven thirty only daily. Oh, so that. Yeah, big night uh, meetings, the uh, late night meeting always keeps on going. That things which we start that it helps you. And mm-hmm. once coming back to that, uh, as being an as infrastructure for help you, it's a very amazing because uh, still I remember I guess uh, the first day when I stepped into my help you with my parents, I was with the campus. Like what it is, where I have to go, who will guide us? <laughs> and I but that still so that leads me back to Tamil Nadu. Like uh, this, I think it's okay. gonna be. So I don't know where I will suffer and uh, where I have to stay, sustain also. Then mm-hmm. just to find and the campuses where the exact blogs are located to analyze this data, it takes me mm-hmm. around two three months exactly. Sir, it's not a fake or news. It's a two or to be honest, I'm telling it takes two okay. to three months. Yes, two to three months to understand that understand the entire infrastructure. Right, it's so huge. Yeah. Uh, Like uh, when I was in the hostel, I used to enter into the main entrance gate directly. I take uh, rickshaw and go to my hostel, and my nearby the hostel or aerospace department is there. So I used to go by within the walk. So if there is a nine o'clock in the class, I used to come at just eight fifty five. So eight fifty five, I leave my room and reach the camp uh, classrooms at nine o'clock. One just a five minutes of time. So rather than that, it's something different. But most of the time, where I spent is oh, I'm the outstanding student. Sir. The reason is not in the studies. But I always will be standing out in the classrooms, like enjoying having in the events, going to the libraries, and most important things that the innovation studio. So most of the mm. time, I guess I spend with that studio. That was an amazing. So where we build a lot of projects, and where yeah. we get time to explore the main things. Mm. So when we did the LPU, there was in the aircraft, and we thought, okay, we will be driving this aircraft because we don't know what this aircraft is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. We thought that okay, faculties will teach us how to fly the aircraft. We will be driving the aircraft, and I was saying to my dad as well. But then I understood okay, this is the engineering basically it works, and that innovation study was the most amazing part. Sir. So that infrastructure was precious, and even uh, still in the first year, I remember we had a labs, aerospace labs, and where we have the beam tunnels. So understanding, I don't know where this works at all earlier, but now I'm in, into the industry. I'm understanding and realizing that. Okay, this is the reason that we are working and doing all these things in the labs and these cases at all. So it was mm-hmm. an amazing day with the labs and uh, even building a drone. So it's everyone thinks that building a drone is just like a toy or something, and building a glider also. But Bro. that is the place where we can able to understand the concept of aerodynamics, especially. So where we can able to understand the center of gravity, center of pressure, center of density, whatever we're talking about in aerospace domain. Mm-hmm. So which mm-hmm. uh, complete the core domain of the packages where we can able to put it onto one domain that was the glider and drone. So it is all our starting the labs and the facilities that each were provided. 
the one question you usually have for every people so like before 6 7 years if you want to study aerospace and not in any college not an lp if you want to study in any college they think okay is there any lab facilities or is there any flight or is there any rocket this is the question parents usually ask the students and the same my question when i want to do in the few my parents ask me the question whether there is a rocket or flight and i says there is a flight which saw in the prospect uh, center Yeah. that is secondary just having the picture as plus having the model that's a secondary but how the labs as plus well the infrastructure setting out so we have an amazing library so most of the times as you know nimisha and arshia so we always used to spend the time in the nights at the libraries also so even yeah. though the people those who are going to library they don't want to read by seeing the environment he definitely will read it he will yes. take some of this he will read it this is how oh, this all works on so that's how picture. that's how books binds you right so if you look on to the books you have that keenness to study more you will go down and explore more books on to what exactly you want of your areas you select those okay. and then you start digging into it so that that's a place that's a very good place yeah please go. and the same habit it uh, started from there and still continuing there because i used to go library not to read aerospace books but some of the different domain books till now every month i had set up the goal like after study one book now the current book going on is the diary of a ceo so written by steven barrett so this was a book currently going on for this month so every month i used to study this book it's all started with that lp library that was an amazing story behind that but once back to aerospace labs and infrastructure so where we can build that's what aerospace as everyone knows that thinks okay if you become aerospace engineer we can build a rocket that's secondary but more than that you want to spend the time with practical knowledge whatever you are learning in theoretically in the classrooms yeah. as well as in the books in the ppts you have to yeah. apply in your real life and you have to apply that things at least a model purpose let it be the model rocket or model satellite or anything you should apply it earlier yeah. we could not we don't, we don't uh, know to build a model rocket or cube set but now students are ready to even a building a satellite and sending with the helium balloons to the lower orbit at least nearby the uh, spheres this is what the students are doing what so by seeing that it's so amazing and recently I come to know about one video uh, there was an one event happened like uh, interested conference on aerospace was happened in lpu yeah yes department. and department of aerospace students are doing and uh, making their model rockets and flying with the sky and making a model drones and i amazed like what i did in my first year as i was doing because these <laughs> all the things were doing at the last like, some of the first year and second year students are doing a lot this is all started because of the infrastructure so it you don't know no need to say that there is no facilities of a rocket there is no facility of a flight which is need to be placed in the colleges or the campus that secondary out of that how much the labs will help you to work on the project so we have an amazing innovation studio so we have an amazing aerospace lab so that makes and things a lot of memories and that for the nasa project that we are working on we work completely all night for the innovation studio itself so because if you go to enter the innovation studio we don't know whether it is day or night so always the switches will be on so looking onto that we think it's a day and night we used to work on the project so it's an amazing very very nice very nice uh, uh, okay so on the same line uh, rishika uh, you also must have your remembrance behind but uh, my uh, i just wanted to have a quick uh, view on the present curriculum if i'm talking about of aerospace department and uh, how far because see, you are currently working as a intern in the college aerospace and you must be encountering all those aspects which are coming day by day like your company bosses will be telling you about okay fine this is what is that area that you have to work in hmm. so uh, like i just wanted to know your view points on the present uh, curriculum of aerospace department and how far do you think it is uh, deeply associated with all those four c's of curriculum either it's communication collaboration critical thinking and creative thinking so how exactly do you see that uh, are your curriculum whatever you have studied we, you know we keep on changing that to regular cds right yeah. but uh, is it like aligned properly with that industry demands and uh, how exactly do you feel about it please okay so um, definitely the present curriculum is very well aligned i like to take up each c one by one so yeah. let's take up communication first right so effective communication is what i believe is a cornerstone of this curriculum because even if you have a plethora of knowledge but if you aren't able to communicate it properly you will not be able to yeah. talk in an interview which could hinder in you landing a job or even to masters whether it's in india india in india also we have to face an interview round before getting it or outside india they have gre gmat alstoffel whatever we need good communication skills right and to tackle that we have 
um, courses like communication skills, PES, PEL, in which uh, they specifically focus on enhancing students' abilities to not just articulate technical information, but uh, how to articulate it clearly and effectively. And um, throughout the program, students are encouraged to develop those communication skills through oral presentations, technical report writing, group discussions, lecture topics, and so on. And you're also given directions into how to carry yourself and present your ideas in a clear way so that your ideas are um, uh, communicated properly right across and they're perceived well. So all of this is uh, really essential in a professional setting because we have on a daily basis, we have stand up calls and everything where we need to present our ideas, we need to update uh, whatever we are doing. And that really matters in uh, whenever you are in a pro professional setting. Right. So that is for communication, for collaboration. So our curriculum is designed uh, in such a way that it fosters a collaborative environment where uh, teamwork is considered to be paramount. In our um, CAs also, we are given team projects, which like I talked about earlier, like making a UAV or a satellite, or, mm -hmm. or uh, we have various co uh, competitions which are organized literally every week by various clubs within our department, outside our, of our department. And by participating in these competitions and working on these projects, to Students, um, they really learn to coordinate uh, well. They learn how to share responsibilities and how to leverage each other's strengths and not just think about you as a self person, but to uh, leverage that, okay, she is good in designing, I am good at, in stress analysis and how we can combine and come up together with something which is really um, extraordinary, right? So this collaborative approach, it mirrors real world aerospace projects, which right now, suppose I'm in cargo team. So I have to uh, talk to so many people, not just design people, not just stress analysis people, but everyone from the customers to the producers, everyone, right? Mm -hmm. So that co comes in really handy from whatever we learned in college by just participating in competitions or just doing CAs, which are a part of our curriculum. And not just that, that uh, we have to collaborate within our department. It's all interdisciplinary as well. So that is also a plus point. Next is, I think, critical thinking, right? So uh, critical thinking from the starting itself is deeply embedded in our curriculum uh, because we have a lot of problem solving activities. We have research projects. We have subjects like uh, analytical skills. So the curriculum itself provides us a, a set of problem statements, which we are given either in the form of CAs or exams or whatever and um, we have to use sophisticated software tools like um, ZWCAD or Creo or MATLAB, Octave, whatever and these courses they are designed in such a way so that we can uh, they can challenge us as students to not just read about what the theory part of it, but also understand what we are reading and to apply that knowledge and verify it via experiments, right? So uh, that's what we do in labs. And uh, students are encouraged to question those assumptions which we make in our uh, everyday activities to evaluate it if there is any alternative approaches and to develop a well-reasoned solution. And um, the curriculum really forces us to think uh, instead of just mugging it all up and just writing it in exams. So mm -hmm. that is one of the things I really liked about LPO. And uh, I think the fourth one is creative thinking. So creative thinking is nurtured through opportunities for innovation and design. Uh, like uh, Raghul said, we have an innovation studio where students can go and explore and develop new ideas. Uh, in innovation studios, we have access to various facilities uh, like mm -hmm. Piper Aircraft, for example. Mm -hmm. We can see and learn. Uh, there are various type of engines which are kept we, we, where we can see, okay, this is CAN type, this is CAN annular type. We were actually um, taken up there and we, we were showcased how everything works. So not just theory, applying those theory and understanding, that is also a part of creating thinking. We were not just told that, okay, this is CAN annular uh, type or CAN type. We actually had to go and we had to tell, okay, may, okay because this has this CAN type structure, this is CAN type. And then we were verified or rectified by our professors. Similarly, Similarly, we have a center of space research where there's a ground station established and there are very small satellites and rovers, uh, which are made by students itself, right? So here students are encouraged to engage in real world aerospace challenges, like what one of the, them, uh, one of the things we did, we uh, made a whole 
satellite right and mm -hmm. we launched it at 800 meters and we, we all were so successful in that we like i said uh, we won the first prize in it and lpu just has so many uh, collaborations and mou signed up in within the space or the aerospace world mm -hmm. We have MOUs with Kepler Aerospace, Rua Aerospace, uh, and all of these uh, collaborations, they just provide students with exposure to cutting edge technologies and industrial practices, which later on will be really handy. So the success of um, various LPU teams in national and international competitions also, they justify what all four Cs we truly learn and accomplish. So, yeah. Great. Great, Shana. So uh, it's really, really great. And so let's just take up my last question to Virendra. Virendra, I'll just quickly ask you about uh, uh, you have you have been a part of this program orientation course, right, Virendra? The program orientation course, you must be a part of that. That's what was a new concept which was being introduced for the first year students. So how how exactly do you think about the concept of uh, gamification in the program orientation course, and what exactly is the, how do you link yourself with that experiential learning process which has come up and what are the benefits for the same? Yes, William. Yes, sir. Your voice is cracking. Uh, still, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some pitching in your voice, Virendra. Could you please cross check it once? And maybe some problems. Yeah. I'm not able to get it more clearly. Anyways, yeah, please, please. please. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit audible. Yeah. Okay. Guys, uh, see, I'm, I'm really like, uh, I, I can't, uh, I don't want to leave you all. So the time has to fly by, right? So point is that I have a number of questions lined up with you. I keep, I keep on asking you the whole night, right? I have a number of queries with you all because exactly what uh, the feeling that comes from you all uh, is what sinks in, right? Because I have seen somewhere uh, people growing from, first year till fourth year and you were the part of that particular journey and like uh, Virendra is a budding student right now he's growing up, he's, he'll be learning through it, so I'll request Virendra to be in contact with Raghul, Rishika and keep on learning through that particular process that will be seeing you through somewhere right, so guys I'm really thankful I'm really thankful to everyone each and everyone who has come down with, on this platform right and I'm really appreciate by taking up the questions and you have replied to that. Rather, I had put my queries. It, that, those were not my questions. That was my feelings which came through this particular channel, right, or this platform. So let us uh, celebrate that. And I'm happy with uh, seeing all of you right onto this particular platform, right. So fine. Thank you so much. And uh, please stay tuned right now. Please be there. Uh, so, Dalinda Ma'am, so I'll hand over this session to you now. Uh, so that's all from my side. Thank you so much. And please, guys, please stay over here. Uh, we'll be having certain more things on.
Thank, thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Amit, uh, uh, Mr. Raghul, uh, Ms. Rishika, and uh, Mr. B. Varendra. So it was wonderful watching you talking on aerospace engineering in depth. So now I would uh, request to the admission nominee, Dr. Mahinder Singh Kaswan to be on the screen. Over to you, uh, Dr. Kaswan. I hope my screen is visible to all of yes. you. The screen is yeah, visible, you can continue. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Amit Kumar. Uh, uh, for inciting on the different aspects thank you so of much, aerospace. Thank engineers. you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, and welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, prominent alumni. Uh, they have shared their uh, uh, vision and the curriculum, the things that related to research and other works is provided by uh, aerospace department. Uh, now I will uh, let you know about uh, those who are present here, uh, what we are having here in a lovely professional university. Basically, in terms of what we are having ranking, our university is NAC A++ accredited university. And that also saw the excellence in terms of academic research and other curricular activities. Uh, just I'm sharing full screen one minute. We have different approval from like that way uh, from UGC, uh, UGC, DEB, NCT, ICR for different programs. Uh, we have all a lot of approval like for uh, LLB, Bar Council of India, Pharmacy Council of India for pharma programs. Uh, we have our uh, alumni have been placed with very wonderful ranking like that we uh, they have backed the package of three crore and also an alumni of mechanical engineering have backed the package of 54.5 lakh in a prominent robotic company. Uh, so I'm not focusing on more rankings uh, because a lovely professional university is always, uh, we are saying in the coming times, it will always be a big brand in the world also. This is all right now is a brand in India and we are having the uh, people uh, from different countries also. Uh, different rankings we have, our, our alumni is also excelling in terms of sports also, like Neera Chopra have won the gold medal and different medals are uh, grabbed by our alumni in uh, Olympic medal uh, ceremony last year. We have also the champions of different uh, national, international university youth, youth festivals. Uh, one thing I just want to let you, uh, along with the academics, we also provide all the supports for sports, cultural activity. We have world-class indoor stadium where you will have the facility for badminton, uh, basketball. Uh, you have excellent uh, swimming pool is there, shooting range is there. So a student can explore all uh, their ways there. So this is the uh, our indoor stadium. This is the glimpse of the university. Uh, we have provided study grant opportunity those who want to study, for example, BTEC in IIT and NIT, and they still want to apply for Alpinist, and they can apply our Alpinist that is eligibility exams. And even they not join the Alpinist, there is an excellent opportunity of the study grant to grab the study grant one time, one lakh rupees. So uh, I just like want to share with you key how a candidate can apply uh, from for a lovely professional university. So. Uh, like that where I'm telling you for uh, aerospace programs candidate uh, one thing I just want to share about uh, first of important dates so what is the important date for us uh, 5th June is a very important date for us uh, as a student can first take admission and then can qualify the alpinist exams so if a candidate take admission up to 5th June a uh, candidate can take with a prominent uh, and some amount of 15,000 only here and, and he can pay the rest is uh, fees within 15 days and he can qualify the alpinist exam that can also be conducted from home also so there is excellent opportunity and they can get the more benefit of the scholarship because after fifth june if a candidate appear for the admission there will be the loss of three percent admission so candidate have to visit lp.in thereafter he have to visit a regular programs after 12th then he will click on regular program then uh, my screen is visible uh, one minute then he will click on engineering then they have to click on mechanical engineering and uh, one thing oh just one minute one minute admissions after 12th
engineering then there is a direct option of aerospace engineering will be there this is so candidate will click here and here once it click on btech aerospace all the details related to the programs what is the fees what is the eligibility criteria i just want to let you that uh, we are providing uh, that junction from the alpinist if a candidate has appeared for je main and he is having 80 percentile so all the details related to the patents publication rankings or all available here so the important date for right now is 5th june and even though candidate can also appear uh, for a, the exam after that but uh, the scholarship amount will get reduced after the 5th june and candidate can uh, go for admission up to the 5th 15th june right now we have most of the seats filled we we have vacant only few seats so i request to all of you those who are uh, want to pursue aerospace engineering from lovely professionality to take uh, uh, admission as soon as possible and secure your seat before 5th of june so and uh, that's uh, all from my side uh, i hand over uh, the mic to dalvinder ma'am please thank you so much uh, dr kaswan and uh, once again thanks to dr uh, amit kumar thank you so thank much ma'am thank you thank you so much to all of you as we come to the end of this webinar i want to express my deepest gratitude to our experts for sharing their valuable insights and expertise with us your presence enthusiasm and active participation have made this experience truly special hopefully the attendees found this webinar to be valuable and will be able to utilize the information for better decision making regarding your admissions if anyone want to assess this webinar again they can visit our website that is lpu.in or can be assessed on youtube also stay connected with us for future webinars until we meet again with the permission of my seniors i would be signing off this webinar take care and good bye have a nice day thank you so much ma'am and thank you i'll appreciate that up like uh, everybody joined on time and uh, apart from their jobs and internship as well as everything so i'll thank you everybody onto this platform like everybody came up good and uh, we had all those viewpoints over there thank you so much ma'am thank you so much